Do not, do not, people, do not fall victim to the out-of-state scam, okay? You see this? This is what we call lipstick on a pig. This looks like it's an amazing deal. But I want you to dig deeper, right? If you're going to be jumping into new markets, markets you're unfamiliar with, do not, do not go it alone. If you don't know how to swim, you ain't jumping in the water without a raft. Am I right? I'm here to make sure you do not fall victim to very common out-of-state scams like this one. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here. I am here to prevent you from making a mistake in your real estate investing, right? Today we're working on this property. This thing looks good, folks. This looks like it could be a solid deal. Look at this, freshly renovated, okay? Everything is what you want it to look like, right? Look at this, you got the nice gray walls, the fresh carpet, the white trim. What could be the issue, right? The numbers even look like they make a lot of sense, okay? And this was sent to me by my client, Mark. Mark, you're an out-of-state investor coming into the Cleveland market, trying to do your deals, trying to find good deals that make sense. But I cannot, I cannot let you do this deal, brother. This deal is going to rip you off. This deal is going to kick you in the teeth. You think this deal is going to give you cash flow, but I'm going to explain to you why you will lose a ton of money, You ton, a ton of money the day you buy this thing, all right? The address mark, 920 Paxton Road, Cleveland, 44108. And they wanted 100 Gs for it, okay? But I can't, I cannot let you close this deal, dog. Now, it looks good, right? Let's just cruise through some more of these photos, right? Big old duplex, freshly renoed. You don't need it to look any different than this, right? I don't have any issues with how this reno came out. Looks awesome. We got new furnaces. Furnaces cost like 3500 bucks last 30 years. Brand new hot water tanks that cost like 1200 bucks last about 15 years. Everything looks good, right? The stuff all looks good. And then if you read what the listing agent said, all right, Updated triplex in Forest Hills with potential to generate eighteen fifty a month. There are two two bedroom, one bathroom units with potential to be rented for seven hundred each, both updated in twenty twenty. Third floor, one bed, one bath is tenanted currently for four fifty until the end of April twenty twenty two. Recent updates include rehab, both the two bedroom units, five new windows, exterior painted in twenty twenty one, all three electrical boxes in twenty twenty one, all hot water tanks newer with one replaced in twenty twenty one, as well as newer furnaces, one year home warranty included. Don't miss out. Wow! Seems like an amazing deal. Let's do the deal. Do 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 do. Don't do the deal, bro. Fucking garbage, all right? It's fucking garbage. Here's the deal. When you get into these turnkey markets, these markets like Cleveland, we got a lot of inventory like this. We could put paint on them, make them look fresh. We can have people give you price-to-rent ratios that make you salivate, right? But there's more to this business than just, oh, the price-to-rent ratio made sense. How about value? Value of what you're buying. You know what's more important? than return on investment, return of investment. It doesn't matter if these units were said to be able to rent for $10,000 a month. The day you buy this property is the day you fucking lose, okay? You cannot pay $100,000 for a duplex or triplex, whatever you want to call it, in this neighborhood, okay? If you go to the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, I have it on HoltonWeiss.com. It's also below this video. I have graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale, all right? F being the most high-risk neighborhoods. This falls right under that F-grade neighborhood, okay? What you get in a neighborhood like this is going to be a ton of blight, all right? Now, if you look here, like just right here, okay? Here's our property. Right here, vacant lot, vacant lot. Vacant lot, 
vacant lot, okay? And if we expanded this and went through the whole neighborhood, we'd be seeing vacant lots all over the place. I've done that in many, many videos. Don't feel like spending the time on it right now because it doesn't matter because this right here is what really matters. What vacant lots mean is a lower value in the neighborhood, okay? So I don't give a shit if the rents are 10 grand a unit, 20 grand a unit, 30 grand a unit. I mean, obviously, those are just ridiculous numbers. Like, I guess if you can collect $30,000 in rent on two or three units for like three months, you make that, – that's a stupid analogy. But I don't care if the rents are 700 800 900 right? I don't care what the price to rent ratio is. I don't care if it beats the 2% rule. I don't care if it beats the 3% rule. I don't care if it beats the 4% rule. You can't lose a crap ton of money the day you buy it, right? All that blight leads to lower housing values, okay? So even if you wanted to buy properties in this neighborhood, fine, cool. If you want to do that, if you think that makes sense for your strategy, go for it. I think it's a tough way to make cash flow as an out-of-state investor, but you can't do it on this property, all right? And the reason being is because you're overpaying. You are losing thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, right, the day you buy it, right? This is one of those situations where people are looking for suckers, and all you need to know is the comps, right? I pulled up the last 23 properties to sell within a quarter mile radius of this one where you're supposed to be paying 100 k They sold for 1500 8000 10000 10924 to be exact. All right? 12000 12 and a half, 13, 13750, 15000. All right? You starting to understand the issue here? The day you buy this is the day you flush your money down the toilet. 16 and a half, 16750, 18,000, 18,900, 20,000, all right? 20,000, 25, 30, 35, 39, 490, 50, 52, 55, 57, and 70. So on a best case scenario, the day you buy this property is the day you lose $30,000. Folks, I get it. You're looking at properties like this with out-of-state eyes. The price-to-rent ratio, it's insane. It's better than what you can get at home. Do not buy just off of that. You have to dig deeper. You have to pull the curtain back. You have to peel back the layers of the onion to understand what's going on. If you buy this, you're a fucking sucker because you will lose $30,000 the day you buy it. There's types of sellers out there that prey on buyers like that who don't look any deeper. They just say, oh, eighteen fifty in rent, only $100K purchase price. I must be making bajillions of dollars. And they don't realize, oh, best case scenario, I lose thirty k the day I buy it, when in reality it's probably a lot more when you look at the majority of those properties selling for under twenty k, right? You will have immediately gone underwater the day you purchased this. You'd never get that investment back, folks. Don't focus so much on return on investment. Focus on return of investment and then return on investment later. If you guys are thinking about investing in the Cleveland market, do not do it by yourself. Don't jump in the deep end if you can't swim and you ain't got a raft, folks. I'm your motherfucking raft. You want to send your deals to me, have me give you an expert opinion. Make sure you don't burn at least $30,000 the day you close. After this video, click the notes below, book a free call with my team. I'll make sure you don't make a mistake like my man, Mark. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.